You may have heard that the United States is moving toward cleaner energy. It's true. Renewables such as solar and wind keep growing. Traditional fuels like coal make up less and less of the energy we use every day. Many worry that the shift to new technologies and clean energy might make jobs disappear. Instead, something else is happening. Green jobs are booming. But let's back up. What are these green jobs? And where are they located? The answers might surprise you. The two fastest growing occupations in the entire job market are solar panel installers and wind turbine technicians. But green jobs are much more than that. They also include clean energy construction workers, designers, engineers, and high-tech factory workers. It includes people who make more energy-efficient homes, offices, and everyday things such as Energy Star appliances and electric vehicles. Of the over 6 million people working in energy today, more than 3 million are already in these kinds of green jobs. These jobs aren't just in democratic strongholds like California and New York, which have embraced environmental regulations. Republican-leaning states such as Iowa, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas actually lead the nation in wind energy. Arizona and North Carolina, both states that went for President Trump in 2016, are among the country's top solar energy producers. And the green jobs that come with this kind of production typically pay more than the national average. But as we power our lives with less fossil fuel and more clean power, many people in traditional energy industries worry they will be left behind. Take the coal industry. Coal jobs have been disappearing for decades as natural gas production increased and as automation took hold in coal mines. From a high near 1 million workers, now less than 200,000 Americans make their living in coal. That's fewer than those working in solar energy today. This change has devastated communities across Appalachia and parts of the Midwest. Environmental regulations are often blamed for this downturn. But in reality, gas just became cheaper. Solar and wind are becoming more profitable too. And the switch to clean energy has the added advantage of helping the U.S. reduce its carbon emissions. Instead of propping up dying industries and promoting jobs that aren't likely to rebound, state and local governments could be helping workers make the switch to jobs in growing fields such as healthcare, information security, and clean energy. That means funding programs that make it easier for workers to move from one part of the country to another. It means backing job retraining for the new skills needed in the workplace. Washington remains sharply divided over this green energy future. But new green technologies are already changing the energy landscape. And they're changing job markets right along with it. <laughs>